Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will continue talking about animation addition of GreenShift plugin. And in this video, we will look at an effect which is called background parallax. So let's start with the first version of the effect. So we'll add a row and then we'll set a full width. And also we'll set 100VH for height. Then we will add here the background. So let's choose for example this one. We will make so that the image was not repeating and in size we will choose cover. Here we have a simple option called parallax effect and when we enable it our background is getting attached to the page. And if you add a second block I will just duplicate the one that I have already created and we'll just change the background. For example, I will choose this image. And this is the effect that we get. So the background is changing this way. It looks very impressive and at the same time it is very easy to apply such an effect. This effect looks very impressive if you have some images with different backgrounds. There is such an interesting replacement of one image with another, like this. Actually, the effect that we created is a fake parallax because we have an image for background that is just attached to the page. In order to make a real parallax effect, we need to make it so that not only the scroll is moving, but also the image itself. So let's now try to make this real parallax effect using the same images. So we have a special block which is called background parallax. We add it and then we will set a full width. By default, the height is 300 pixels. We will make it 100 VH. And now we will choose our images from here. We'll add here an empty block. And now, as you can see, when scrolling, not only the scroll is moving, but also the image itself. In order to better see this, we'll add one more block. So let's just duplicate this one and we'll choose just another image here. So this is the effect that we get. As you can notice, this effect is totally different. Also, since this image will be the first one, we need to enable this option, which is called stick image to the top. And we have such an interesting effect. So let's now check how it looks on the website. So now when the image is changing, the image on the top is also moving and this effect is much more interesting than the previous one. Also, we can enable this option to the second image and we will get such a peculiar effect. Moreover, we can also add here a scroll ratio. Let's set, for example, 0 0.13. The speed of our image inside the container depends on this scroll ratio. You have to guess right here, because the larger your image is, the higher you need to set the scroll ratio. So here you can experiment with different values and check the result. Also, there is one more option here. It's called Fade Overlay. 
it adds one more layer to the background and it will appear once the image goes to our upper corner. So I have enabled it and also I have added black gradient. And let's now check it. So once the image goes up, it gets shadowed. Furthermore, we can also create our own effect with the most flexible settings. So we'll add a container here. Then we'll set 300 pixels for height. Also, we'll add an animation container inside. And then we'll add a video box. The advantage of this method is that you can add a parallax not only to images, but to anything, including videos. So we have this video here. Here we need to hide what goes beyond our container. So as you can see, now a part of the video is cut off and now we can animate the movements of the video itself inside the container. We'll set a shift minus 200 and here we'll set a direction not from, but to, like this. And let's add also an interpolation. We already know how to do this. So we set zero for trigger start, plus equal 500 for trigger end, and one for interpolation. And this is the effect that we get. There is one more effect that is very often used on websites. So we add an image. Let's say, for example, this one. And we can change its size. And then here in advanced options in animation container, we can enable reveal. And this is the effect that we get. We can also add a gradient here. So let's choose, for example, this one. And this is the effect that we get. That's all for today. In our next video, we'll talk about how to create such websites that are completely in one screen and there is no scroll down. This effect is very popular and it's called page landing. And also we'll talk about how to create pages not with scroll down, but with scroll from left to right, like this one. See you in our next video.